Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you very much for joining me again. What you see in front of you is my old video about PC gaming on Chromebook, where I'm demonstrating how the cloud gaming service by the name of Shadow PC, how it works on my Chromebook and I'm trying to play the game and I'm launching Path of Exile. As you can see, I'm moving my mouse to choose the login option and credit and suddenly everything freezes. And as you can see, option button is highlighted as a mouse overlay and it's not changing because pretty much as you can see uh it's literally the game freezes and only the mouse point is active and i cannot do anything so basically it was freezing and within like first three to five minutes and you i uh, wasn't able to play and i had to go and basically shut down the shadow cloud gaming computer and try other ways to play it uh in that video i was trying another app which is called um shadow legacy that wasn't really a good idea to and was freezing as well and then during down the video i'm showing you a, a workaround which is called parsec and the parsec is basically you install a parsec server on your shadow pc you install parsec client on your chromebook and then you connect and you're playing the games but this is just defeats the purpose you already have a cloud gaming computer which is able to stream games and then you're installing the separate app to stream the games so it's like uh it's like you buy two mobile phones but you're only using one one is for texting one is for calling or, or something like this it's, it's it's just it's not practical and um from what i read in my comments and from uh, uda viewers um shadow pc has a timeout i believe of 60 or 90 minutes and the parsec running in the background don't really counts as that uh, it's it's where so basically after an hour or so gaming shadow just turns off and you can't play anymore um recently um uh, one of my viewers made a comment on my channel saying that um it all working and i wasn't like really so then i went and done a, a quick read through a shadow pc subreddit and a couple of people said that recently shadow gaming shadow gaming computer android version app been updated that this works better on the chromebook that was before so what you see in front of you is basically my chromebook i open like i've got the app draw uh let's go into settings so i'm in settings i'm in a keyboard option so let's quickly type about can i go about so let's search for about let's see just to show you that it's definitely a chromebook I can search about okay it's under here about chrome os google chrome os uh is on the 71.0.3578.172 official build 64 bits and everything basically is a chromebook and i have shadow app installed because my chromebook supports android apps so i've got the shadow um, app installed so let's open up and let's connect to shadow and see if that is correct so i'm really connected Straight away, this thing I, I noticed that the way the the buttons looks at the start is different to what was before, so it, it this feels that the app is being updated. So right now I'm trying to, uh, the app is trying to authorize a connection to, a, as you can see, Windows proxy, uh, setting up the controllers, etc. It does its things to get me into the into the uh, login. So I'm punching my pin, and I am in my shadow cl shadow cloud gaming computer. Why, see, why you can see two mouse pointers, it's a long story. It's basically a leftover of my previous video about Apex and no, about World of Warcraft on a deck station. Um, if you wanna see that, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go and check that out, have a look. But anyway, we are talking about Chromebook at the moment. So at the moment, everything looks very snappy no promise at all i have my xbox 360 usb controller connected because what i will do i will try to play gta 5 on my shadow cloud gaming computer while it's being streamed to my chromebook so as i was demonstrating in my old video snippets of my old video it was freezing up of path of exile game i don't have path of exile game at the moment installed in my shadow pc and to be honest i can't be bothered waiting for half an hour or so just to get this downloaded and installed i have a gta 5 i think is more demanding uh than a path of exile so we're gonna try that game instead so it's loading up um 
Just give a second or so to load. Shadow Cloud Gaming PC is very powerful, but still don't expect everything to happen super fast. Uh, so, you know, especially GTA 5 is like 80 gigabytes game on Steam. So, um, just leave it running. I know we're starting, uh, it's gonna start eventually, and I will be able to play. So, as you can see, game starts a bit flickering. That's possibly because I'm just pressing the button on the uh on my homebook right okay so gta 5 starting okay so i have my like i said xbox 360 controller connected at the moment what i see the streaming quality is amazing and just to let you know uh my homebook at the moment is running on the wi-fi so i'm running on the wi-fi i don't have any usb I ethernet dongles anything I even will try to show you this is basically the cable that I usually use to connect the ethernet this is not even plugged in uh, I usually use this for my deck station what I need for testing purpose but right now Chromebook is literally what you see is been streaming uh, I'm streaming GTA 5 game to my Chromebook using shadow app so previous video let's say it's obsolete at the moment is uh, I'll probably gonna leave a card on that video some worth saying that please check the version 2.0 of this because shadow team they done something they updated something i don't know maybe the actual google pushed the update or something into a chromebook somebody done something and it's actually working so now i'll take this and let's go outside uh just two seconds i would like to see the game quality audio so that's all fine so let's go, uh, let's jump in the car. So far I can't see any stutter, anything. Here we are. Okay, my bad, apologies. Obviously the streaming quality will depend. My bad, my bad, sorry. Go, go, go. No, no, are you kidding me? Uh, I you really jump in that car take his car anyway uh, at the moment I'm a uh, I have one mod installed on my GTA 5 for a future video which I'm planning to record in a couple of days and I hope that video will work what I'm planning to do so a bit of a driving is different what I expect but the quality is GTA 5 and I'm playing on my Chromebook and it's, it's sort of flawlessly I can't see any lag. I can't see basically any 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 stutter, any artifacts, anything. It will happen. I know it will happen. That for a couple of seconds or so, it's gonna uh, freeze up for for minor second or so. But it's not big deal. It's not big deal. I I am happy. Let's change the camera. Okay. Let's change the camera again. So as you can see. My driving skills is not that great. My bad, my bad. Oh, there was a little stutter. But anyway, it's still going. It's still going. I'm still playing GTA 5 without, well, I would say 99.9% .9 perfect. There's always that 0.1 will creep in and you will get the stutter or so. But when you think this is running on my Chromebook, I mean, this app is running on my Chromebook and I'm streaming. So my previous videos became obsolete because like I said, they done something, they, they changed something inside the Shadow app that you can basically uh, play, enjoy PC gaming on Shadow, or, sorry, on Chromebook, finally. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying just driving recklessly around the neighborhood. So my bad if I'm, I'm talking less or I'm yapping some nonsense. Okay, turn. Is that the handbrake? Yes, that. Hold on, I, f I can't remember which is the handbrake. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the camera change, right. Come on, boy. Oh, watch out. Okay, yes. Okay. My bad. Really? Anyway, let's leave this car. Let's go grab another one. Ah, actually, you know what, that's it. I hope I showed you enough that 
if you have an access or you have account for Shadow and for some reason you just uh, looking to buy a Chromebook or already have a Chromebook, you can play PC games on a Chromebook finally. Let's actually exit this game. Let's try another one. Yes, quitting. Okay, uh, another game that I can show you is Diablo 3. Actually, no, I think I, I showed enough Diablo 3. No, actually, let's show it. Let's show it. Let's show you two games in one video. So Blizzard starts up. Press play. So Diablo 2. Uh, this is like a trial version. So uh, Diablo 3 that I have. Sorry, did I say Diablo 2? Diablo 3 is a tri like a trial version. So I, I played yesterday. As soon as I found out this is actually working, I spent like two, three hours playing Diablo 3 on my Chromebook. This is a trial version. So you, you just went, go through first act and then it says, do you want to continue? Upgrade. So uh, I'm just going to jump in somewhere in the map and we'll show you how it works. Uh, so, okay, I started from here. Okay. Come on. So as you can see, I'm playing Diablo 3 with no problems. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm starting the game from the beginning. That's fine. Let's get all them killed. My spiders will kill everything. To be honest, I don't like spiders. I don't like spiders. Diablo 3 on the Chromebook. Are you kidding me? It's not free. I'll tell you again. It's not free. Shadow service will cost you. Uh, but if you're a gamer and you don't have a gaming PC and you want to enjoy super high quality gaming, uh, Shadow, I would say, is the best option at the moment. Uh, I don't want to sort of brag myself into, uh, or let's say, self-promote, but if you go into description, you'll find a coupon code, which if you would use while purchasing the first month subscription for your Shadow, you will get ten dollars off so you'll get ten dollars off and you can enjoy this kind of gaming pretty much on any device i tried this on my shield my note 9 s8 plus deck station chromebook inside my car because uh, i have android head unit and it's it's all work uh, okay it was a little ha lag just by by here for a couple of seconds but like i said yesterday I played for two hours and to be honest, that small lag that appeared randomly, let's say, there and there for just a blink of an eye, is not really a big deal breaker. It's not like a, a thing that will stop me from using the shadow on, on uh, Homebook. Because this runs perfectly. I have no problems with this whatsoever. Come on. There you go, you see, a, a little lag just now, but it's just, the lag, by the way, can be not because your Chromebook is slow to get this feed coming in, it possibly down to somebody downloading something in your household that basically hogging all the bandwidth and you're getting just a small amount for your gaming needs. So if you want to play, just <laughs> play games when you're alone. When you're alone at home, then do some gaming. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna be a, a small lag happening a bit. Do I have a monster here? No. Okay, I have. So let's let's drop some spiders. Let's go this. Thank you. Okay, everybody dead. Okay, enough. Exit Diablo free. Yes, exit now. So here we are, Diablo free and GTA 5 running on my Chromebook with 0.01% chance that you will get the lag. My Chromebook is Acer R11. I was using Wi-Fi 
an Xbox 360 controller for GTA 5 and just an additional USB mouse and a Chromebook keyboard to play Diablo 3. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will come back for another one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.